please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Muswobi. Who deserves to be a hero? Tafawa Balewa Chief of Bafemi Awulowo Dr. Namdi Azikiwe General Olushegun Obasanjo Herbert Ogunde Professor Wale Shoinka Aliko Tangote Airtel, the network of heroes recognizing the true heroes of our motherland. Still covered. All covered. Nigeria, we got you covered. On a beautiful Sunday in the heart of Undo State, Nigeria, the heavens smiled and the day bowed to the coming of a king. A king that would reign supreme in the kingdom of music forever. The producer of Music Face, Lekuti Oyeyemi, dug deep into the sands of history to bring you the legends of the great king. Who deserves to be a hero? Surely, the fantastic, amazing, humble King Sunny Ade. King Sunny Ade born Sunday, September 22, 1946, is a popular performer of Yoruba Nigerian Juju music and a pioneer of modern world music. He's been classed as one of the most influential musicians of all time. <laughs> Ade was born to a Nigerian royal family in Ondo, thus making him an Omoba, a prince of the Yoruba people. Every step of his life has gone to prove his princely status. He has conquered kingdoms in the world of music. His father was a church organist while his mother was a trader. Ade left grammar school in Ondo under the pretense of going to the University of Lagos. He didn't go there for his education. He chose music. It was in Lagos his mercurial music career started. Sunny Ade's music sound was evolved from the early days. His career began with Moses Olaya's Federal Rhythm Dandies, a high life band. He left them to form the Green Sport in 1969 over the years for various reasons ranging from change in his music to business concerns. In the 1970s and the 1980s, Sunny embarked on a tour of America and Europe where he played to mixed both black and white audiences, making them dance and sing along to his African rhythm. Hey, my God. We are half of the way right now. Hey, my dude! Hey, my dude! Alright. We have to go with the music as well, so we'll make it as loud as possible. You ready? Hey, my dude! Hey, my dude! Hey, my dude! Hey, my dude! No wonder at the headline concerts in the United States. The New York Times Robert Palmer described one of our day's several concerts in New York in the 1980s as one of the most significant pop music events of the decade. His second album, under the cusp of international stardom, 
or synchro system which attracted many converts of world music and earned him a Grammy nomination in the folk ethnic music category. Synchro! Synchro system! Saniade's music is characterized by, among other instruments, the talking drum, an instrument indigenous to his Yoruba roots, the guitar and his peculiar application to Juju music. Saniade was the first to introduce the pedal steel guitar to Nigerian pop music. He was the first to introduce the use of synthesizers, clarinets, vibraphone, tenor guitar into the juju music repertoire such as dub and wawa guitar licks. After the death of Bob Marley, Island Records began looking for another third world artist to put on his contract. While Fela Kuti had just signed to Arista Records, producer Martin Meissonier introduced King Sonia Day to Chris Blackwell, leading to the release of juju music in 1982. Many music aficionados are quick to point out that Sunny Ade's brand new music, the Juju music, could not be ignored by anyone at the time. Today, the seminal record is often acclaimed as one of the most important records from Africa. In the 1980s, Ade embarked on a career in Hollywood. His music was featured in the 1983 film Breathless. Starring Richard Gere, and in 1986, he was in a comedy One More Saturday Night and he acted in Robert Altman's 1987 comedy O.C. and Stiggs. Sani Ade was the first African to ever be nominated for two Grammy Awards. He is also the first to introduce the use of synthesizers, clavinets, vibraphone and tenor guitar into juju music. He also opened the floodgates for other world music artists. King Sani Ade also had appearances in Hollywood. In 1980s, Ade embarked on a career in Hollywood, was also inducted into the Afro Pop Hall of Fame at the Brooklyn African Festival USA where he dedicated his award to Michael Jackson. King Sonia Day was also recognized for his outstanding contribution to world music at the Reggae and World Music Awards held at the Apollo Theatre in Harlem, New York. Who deserves to be a hero? Surely, the amazing, humble, fantastic, enigmatic, talented King Sonny Ade. <laughs> Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Muswobi.